That was such an insane entry. For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, we are here today on Forza Motorsport 7. We are staring at that brand new 2018 Civic Type R. But that is not why we're here today. We are here today to actually do another subscriber drift tune. But before we get into the subscribers drift tune, I want to give you guys a little bit of uh, information on what's coming to the channel and where I've been recently. So, if you guys know, I have been uh, MIA for about a week or so. It's because I've been spending some time with my new fiance. I actually made the uh, decision and proposed to my girlfriend, and we are now engaged. So I've been spending some time with her recently. That's why there hasn't been much video content. But we are back in the full swing of things. There's some cool stuff coming to the channel next week. Uh, this weekend, I'm actually going to PA to go racing i am going to be taking my veloster turbo and be running scca autocross in stock class in that car with one of my buddies from work so it's definitely going to be a fun time going to be uh ripping that car around the bank track at in a track in pa definitely going to be uh bringing video content from that as well to the channel this coming week so like i said we are staring at this Civic type r which we are going to get into in another episode for sure definitely gonna be wanting to rip this car around but today we are here to do a subscriber drift tune I got a comment on my last drift tune build from the Miata from uh, Stefan Gibson if I pronounce it wrong I apologize asking me he'd love to get my input on his s13 sr20 det tune he personally doesn't like five to six seven hundred horsepower he likes more realistic tunes at 400 to 500 so it's basically a street tune style car less power so we're going to give it a shot i told him i would definitely give it a go so we're going to hop into that car right now which i already have the tune already preloaded into i just got a get to Nissan and find it I know it's here I have plenty of Nissans going on right here here it is the 1992 Sylvia Club K that uh blue dark blue black wheels carbon fiber hood so just to give you guys his uh gamer tag is actually I'm Karma I'll leave it down in the description box below it's his 444 horsepower SR20 S13 on sport tires so we're gonna take this thing out she how she slides and uh you know just uh shred it and have a little fun with it i do like uh street style tunes that you know use the weight of the car so this should be pretty fun we're going to change tracks i believe to i kind of want to go to a track i haven't been at at a while but has some, some nice turns that we could pretty much throw this car and use the weight of the car you can go to maple valley so like I said, I hope you guys have had a good week. Today is uh, May 4th, so may the 4th be with you. And uh, if you guys are Star Wars nerds like I am, so you guys can appreciate that. So we are going to rip this guy's S13 and see how it does here at Maple Valley Full Circuit. So before we do that, we're going to have to get the uh, wheel cam turned on. We're going to have to get our energy innovations 350 millimeter wheel put on our G920. There we go. So, weather is actually really nice and warm where I'm at now. If the weather's warmer, you guys are, let me know. It's uh, pretty warm out here. It's like 70s and 80s now, right now. So, it's uh, it's pretty nice. So, like I said, we're just going to go full send with this car and uh, see, how, see how she slides. 444 horsepower S13. Hopefully, my wheel is linked. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna have to do a quick, uh, quick link up. We are good to go, so we're just gonna send it now and see how this goes. I haven't really driven this car before, so and uh, first impressions, it's uh, pretty stable for being such an underpowered car than what I'm normally driving. This thing drives pretty well. We have to use a lot more weight. And a lot more clutch kicks but I feel like we can uh, do this tune some justice 
So far, so good, is it? I say that it snaps. I just want to take those cones out. Getting the cone hitting out of the way because this weekend I don't want to hit cones by any means when I'm racing. Let's see if we can get this nice flick in. Ooh. I held that a little too long, but we're going to definitely make another lap run here because uh, I entered that a little too soon. I do like how this car sounds and the, the styling of it with the uh, Graham lights are definitely a nice touch. I'm not sure where the color combo came from. I don't think it might be his color combo. I'm not sure, but this thing has an angle to save itself. So my impressions on this car so far, it's definitely a very, very stable tune. It kind of does what I want it to do when it, you know, when I tell it to. Of course, you know, never driving this car before is why there's a little bit of uh, shake, but give me a lap or two and I'd probably be on point with this car because this is a very good low powered street tune. I mean, it goes when I want it to. That's just all weight transfer. Gently tapping the brakes to uh, set in the car which way I want to go. So, I'm Karma or... I totally lost my train of thought because I wanted to hit that hard. So, this is definitely a very, very stable tune. Definitely a very good tune that this guy's got going on right now. Tried to use as much speed as I could and less handbrake. And I think uh I think we got it. I don't think we're gonna hold that all the way out. We're gonna try and link as much of this as we can. It has angle to save itself, which is really nice. Because that was almost a 90 degree turn. So this car has definitely definitely got some very good potential to be a very fun car. I'm having a lot of fun with it now, so let's see if we can actually get this section how I want it to. There we go, that's a little better. Probably should have stayed in fourth. That was much better than last time, still not perfect. And we're gonna cut the grass line, but it is okay. Because this is not an online session, so we're not really worried about points, but more so just having fun with this car this thing is a lot of fun to drive this thing's a blast if you guys want to check this tune out I highly recommend checking this man's tune out I will show the tune again before the end of the episode but I would definitely recommend giving this tune a shot this thing is very stable and a lot of fun to drive I'd be curious to take this car to uh, say Road Atlanta and uh, give it a shred there for a real quick second before the end of this episode because you guys know ESDA round two Road Atlanta is coming this week so definitely look forward for content coming to you guys for the ESDA because I will be trying to qualify for Road Atlanta this time as well Ooh. so yeah this car a very stable very the power and weight's good for the car. I mean, it's able to make these long sweepers. Let's see if we can do this turn again. That was such an insane entry. And it held it, and we're still going. I'm gonna clutch kick that, I'm gonna be greedy. This is insane. I honestly think this is probably the funnest and most stable S13 I've driven. My tune on my S13 is nowhere near this good. This is a very solid tune. 10 out of 10 to you, man. This is a very fun tune. Ooh. Just angle for days on this thing, though. I'm I got an... I'm gonna have to get a hold of this man and see what his actual settings are because this is a very, very nice tune. 
it kind of suits my driving style a little bit. Which is very... I don't know if it's different, but... God, I'm just, like, matting this thing full throttle, and I'm just having way too much fun with this car. Ooh, that's the first time we've done that. So I think we're going to head to Road Atlanta and give this a run at Road Atlanta Circuit and see how... Uh, how this reacts to the Road Atlanta circuit. It's almost a, uh, it might be almost a bad thing because uh, my ESDA car handles very well, but I'm struggling a little bit to get the tune right for Atlanta. So uh, I've definitely been working on it recently to try to get the tune a little better. So, as I make some modifications to the, the weight of the car, the, the tread depth, tread depth, the tread width of the tires, and uh, some power changing for road land. This car's dirty. But we haven't wrecked it, so I mean, we haven't wrecked this man's car yet, which is definitely a good thing. He's letting us borrow it for the day just to shred it, and uh, I, I definitely approve of this car. This car's a lot of fun. The power for this sweep, I bet you 10 to 1 if I wasn't so twitchy on my steering right now, I would. Uh, be able to get that super no problem. We're gonna get one last chance through the SE section and uh, then we'll switch it up. See if we can do a nice S section here. Oh, as I say that, we wrecked the car. So I think we're gonna end that there. We're gonna head over to Road Atlanta. Give Road Atlanta a shot with this car before we end this episode off. So if you guys like seeing these subscriber drift builds or you have a tune that you want me to give it a shot, let me know down in the comment section down below. Um, I'll uh, definitely definitely like trying other people's tunes because obviously, you know, this, this, this man's tune is... Uh, I'm going the wrong way. This man's tune is really nice and uh, definitely having a lot of fun in this car. It's kind of a... Uh, a bummer that my S13 doesn't handle this well, so definitely going to be probably using this guy's tune um, or getting in touch with him and trying to uh, get his tuning specs and maybe make my own car in a sense with a little modifications for power-wise because I like a little more power, but this is a very stable, stable tune. It's very, uh, very forgiving too. Oh, I should have had it on standing start. But it's okay, we'll just flip it around. Actually, we'll just run it. We'll just run our way to the, uh, to the actual section. We got time. Drift this like grid life. I, I got greedy with that e-brake. I thought I was gonna be able to do it. Cut that rumble strip. That was a really long e-brake grab with a clutch pop to keep power. Ooh. Stay on the rumbles, stay on the rumbles, stay on the rumbles. So apparently rumbles are okay there. Whew. Kind of sweating up in here. Like I said, it's pretty warm here. Didn't turn the AC on in the house, so it's kind of warm right now. But it's also because we're just shredding this tune right now. I knew I threw that way too hard as soon as I sent it. So I apologize. I hope I'm doing your tune some justice. Kind of digging the uh, dark blue with black wheels on that carbon hood, so... Gonna come up and stop ourselves and uh, see if we can't get a decent run here. Here we go, Road Atlanta Circuit, and I'm Karma's tune. We cut the grass, but 
We're still gonna try and finish this run out. There we go. Try to get as close to the white line. This is a very slow run, but a flick of the e-brake. So that was definitely a uh, pretty, not a very good run, but uh, I think we're going to send it with a little more speed now as we shift lock it into first. Good thing I don't have uh, trans damage on because otherwise I've been done. So we're going to try and just send this car in. I always cut that grass for some reason right now in this car. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Hope you guys enjoyed this drift tune. Like I said before, if you guys got a tune that you want me to try, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know the car, your gamer tag, and the tune name so that I can find it and make it easy on myself. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I appreciate all your support. Like I said, look forward to uh, race content with my Veloster at SCCA coming to the channel next week as well as some other new games coming to the channel as well as well as the SDA content for round two Road Atlanta will be coming to the channel as well just gonna try and shred this so until next time guys I'd like to thank you guys for watching I'm Evil Rabbit and I'm going to shred this car for a while because this thing is so nice right now. Just throwing the weight around. There we go. <laughs> and I'm out.